go in segments. Some usage this, but not too much. In this case, we have to double back a little bit to compensate for how long we made the wire. It's always better to have too much wire than not enough. And that's about right for our down right position. But just to check, let's grab our buttons and put them into their proper positions. Which are approximately here and here. And then if, and if this is tight enough, then we separate our buttons a bit and finish taping down the wire. And then we set our buttons back in place to check that they are indeed positioned. That's going to be evidenced by how easily the connector fits in with minimal button, with minimal wire movement. And there's still loose wire. We're good. Now, we will work with the left center, which runs down to here, approximately. So, we undo its scotch tape. And we run the button down to there with our left center button. 
I'm sorry, run the wire down to here. Being sure that the left center button will plug into it. And we will meet, yes. So at this point, again, leaving a little bit of looseness up here, which we take up later. out to the side, like so. And down the side of the foam. You may need to shorten the length of a bit, just to be sure it will reach. Middle where both the left and the center button will reach. Keeping this end tight. And patching up all our areas of exposed bits of wire. wire to be, to be presented is the up button. we grab from our previous arrangement. In this case, it is best to connect the button temporarily. So we have a fairly good idea of 
how to route the extra long lengths of wire that we unfort that we safely made, oh, but was designed according to the diagram. This, in this case, we'll have to route it like this. Taping this later once we get this secured. At this point, we are done connecting the wiring harness to the dance surface.